Look, I don't know if a damn, I do not know enough about that damn character other than the fact that he is busted and uh, that, that's it. I never played Minecraft. So going into yeah, number one here, we got Ben and Ned running it with uh, ZSS instead, which is actually a really smart move by Ned because this character pretty much invalidates ZSS and, uh, excuse me, uh, Zelda in a lot of aspects. This is one of their worst matchups. Yeah, Zelda, I, I've seen them complain about it on Twitter. I've seen like Katy Perry and Ven and all of them complain about like how bad ZSS is. And it's just because this character's kit in general just, like you said, invalidates their toolkit. But if there's any Zelda out there who can make it work, it's definitely Ven. Ven is quite literally the best Zelda and has been for quite some time. They've already gotten off to a pretty good start. 56% on Ven at the or on Ned at the moment. Ned's starting to build up a little bit more of a lead, but it's a tenuous one at the moment, Ajax. Yeah, honestly, I can't stop thinking about the fact that that you said Katy Perry, and I can 100% see the actual Katy Perry singing. But baby, you're a firework as the opera goes off. I'm gonna stop you from and singing, man. No, 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 no. I know my singing is not good, but here's the thing: you made a reference that I had to cash on it. Also, Ven is keeping a very good lead here. Watch out for them side bees at the ledge or that back air. Yeah, of course, that back air is gonna cover the jumps, basically trying to bait out a ledge option from a jump after putting that side B out. I really like the dash attack, like the wake up dash attack from Ven. It's not something that I see them do too often. Usually they prefer to go for like Phantom off the edge and then come back on with either a teleport or, uh, or just like a neutral get up. But oh my goodness, the falling up here, that's gonna erase net there as Ven takes an early stock lead. Come on, Lass, that was a, that was a firework moment. That, that was your time to shine, baby. That, that was it. That was for you. I'm not I'm not this singing was, on this stream. This was our interview, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and I, you, were, you were James Frank on the moment. You let it drop, and that didn't drop that punish with that up smash. 36% extra credit, though. That's pretty good. That's uh, that's actually fantastic for Zelda, considering her kill power. But Ned's not going to let that slip away too quickly. 25% already on the floor. <laughs> Bad. Yeah, who, who gives a damn about the percentages? You recover too damn low, that down air is gonna find you. I love the fact that Ven is so confident in going off stage. The ledge trap game is one of the best things that Ven has going for them, but the fact that Ven is also so just just good at conditioning you into bad recoveries and then just sniping it out, and then Ned answering right back, damage completely unchecked to zero to zero percent. As I said, this is gonna be a banger. Uh, an interesting kill from Ned. That string, what was that? That was fair into Rar Bear, and it killed at, like, 80? I'm not even sure. I think Ven might have gotten DI checked just a little bit there. I think so, but too. Regardless, Ned, with a fantastic kill confirm, that's going to set him up in a really, really good position going into the rest of this. It was looking a little bit nasty for a second there after Ven managed to get that runoff dare for the early kill, but now Ned's looking strong. He's in this. He's got oh! the... <laughs> <laughs> the Oh my god, How I've, I've seen Nair flip kick, Ajax, I've even seen double Nair flip kick, but triple Nair flip kick, Ned's just built a little bit different. Now, unfortunately, I've seen that a few times because there's a certain person that's named after a planet that lives about two hours from me, and I, 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 can't, I can't think of a single mix-up this man hasn't gotten. However... Ned, I've never seen play ZSS. Uh, like, and I'm not even surprised that Ned has a level of ZSS I to this degree. Like, I mean, ZSS to this level, uh, because this man has just such a wide character pool. He's just such a good, like, multi talented character. He's very similar to Sharp in the regard is that he's so good at neutral base, but his technical game is just, it, oh, dude, it's so good. So, uh, I actually have seen Ned's uh, ZSS in the past specifically when he plays either Wadi or Epic Gabriel or 8-Bit Man. I see him pull it out for the Smart Rob time for it. very often, which, yeah, ZSS kind of does body Rob, and we're seeing the Corrin come out for Wait, Ben. What? This is one that I can't say I've seen before. Yeah, no, um, me either. I I'm so used to seeing purely the Zelda from Ben, and I have seen yeah. some more Corrin show up of late, don't get me wrong, but from Ben, but I've never seen it. WebJP's corn is absolutely sick, but yeah, yes. I, I have to agree with you there. I've never seen the, the Ven corn, but well, I mean, maybe after the way that that last stock went there, just like, yeah, it's not worth I mean, it. look, we're, we're not going to see any of the Ven corn to begin with. This thing is getting mauled 100%. No jump available. You got to up B. It doesn't matter. Zero to death completely unchecked by Ned. I was just about to say something that could work for Ven, but it doesn't even matter because he wasn't even able to get a chance to actually pull anything off. 
Yeesh. Oh, and Ned does not let off the gas pedal. Then finally gets a hit in, but Ned just goes right back on and gets that grab and now oh. gets the, another grab off of that. 66, 60.6% already built up before Ven finally gets another hit in. And this is looking ugly, Ajax. Maybe the Zelda was the right call at the end of the day. Which, so, uh, the, yeah, the crazy thing is like, oh, there you go, cover a little bit. I think one of Net, uh, excuse me, Ven's best things that they do is really consistent frame traps with Zelda. So I can understand why they went with Corrin because his character is just a frame trap machine. Problem is you got to get a hit to force somebody into a disadvantage situation in the first place. And ZSS doesn't really care too much about air dodge traps because she's got flip kick. So maybe, maybe the disjoint was there to have a similar game plan, but not so much in every other aspect. I, I just really think that I like game game one was a very tight match. Ven had a lot of stuff going for them throughout the entirety of it. It was just at the very Ooh. end where they got okay, good back here. But it was just at the very end where they got ZSS, right? They got triple merit into into flip kick for the kill. True. Then they they try and switch instead of continuing to improve on the game plan that they were already working very well with. So it could be one of those frustration moments like for the it. matchup. Like, I, I I think that could have been part of it. You play against your worst matchup, you lose to that, and then there you get caught again with that flip kick. And sometimes it gets in your head, right? You're sitting there, okay, I got to change up. I agree. I think uh, Ven probably should have stuck it out. It's not like the Corrin hasn't picked up since that very, very destructive zero to death at the start. But Ned's still playing with the whole stock lead, so he can kind of just swing a lot in situations where it's like, I have the better frame data, so even if we trade, I'm getting my damage. I'm gonna be honest with you. I I don't think Ned would stop swinging even if he was like way in behind. Like that's just who Ned is as a player. I've seen this dude's like this dude Sephiroth versus uh, like Meister's Game and Watch, and like even when he has like a full stock deficit, he does not stop swinging, and that's what makes him one of the best players in the entire world. Did you see that? Oh that was yes, spicy. Yeah. I, I honestly, I thought he was looking for a position to maybe down air there or something like that. Ned is definitely one to style on people when you get the chance. And now 96% too, yet just run around looking for that one mistake. There's like, you have tipper hitboxes for Ven. That's like your biggest thing you have going for you, hopefully to make a comeback. That's not gonna give you the knockback you need. You need to find a KO at the ledge. Even the kill throws are not there yet. Like, oh, oh you're you, that's, I'm so sorry. My condolences to you, Ven, but you tried to neutral get up, or get up attack actually against the ZSS charging paralyzer on the ledge. That, that never works out. It, it never does, Ajax. Never. I mean, you already know my view on neutral get up period in front of ZSS. So like just get <laughs> fighting ZSS while staring at the ledge. Well, it just, it just sucks. There, there's no other way to put it. Staring at that character who has infinite amounts of ledge options can easily react to things like jumps or double jumps with their own back air, up air, put the pressure back on. But my goodness. Yeah, I, I think you switch back to the Zelda here as crazy as that sounds because that matchup is just so rough. But it did look significantly better that game one. Ven has made some matchups that should not work for uh, Zelda work just because of the skill set that this player has. And I think Ven could could make a run back, but right now Ned is cooking. Like Ned, Ned has got the kitchen, he's got the hat, he's got the hat on, he's got the stove on fire, and no, nothing is stopping this man. There's there's very few things out there, Ajax, that stops Ned once he gets in the kitchen, because that man he can cook. We saw it game one, we saw it game two, and now well, it looks like Ven took your advice. They are going to be heading back to the Zelda pick, trying to pull something anything out in this matchup maybe at least put a point on the board but if i think they also should have swapped stages we see right here they're running it back to starter stadium i, I would have tried something else because it was very clear that like this is like a lot of people think that ps2 is like a true neutral stage it's not there are certain characters that are very good on PS2. Donkey Kong's one of them. ZSS is another one. Palu is another one. But ZSS is the one playing in this match. So I, more often than not, I'll ban PS2 against ZSS. I think a big part of not oh, getting no. to play the game because it's ZSS, once again, at the ledge. But I think a big part of it is that when you go to a smaller stage, you, oh, okay, you caught a mistake trying to get a little bit too quick off the ledge. Down there is going to take a lead that you didn't have in the first place. But you... You take that every single time. I think a big part of it though is that you have a wider stage, you want more room to work with because you need to you need to slowly annoy ZSS into making a mistake on approach. But a smaller stage, it's kind of hard to keep them out the entire time because they have frame one jab and they have that F tilt and they have short hops there. So that that's the 
like, that's the only thing I can think of. But even in this matchup as a whole, right? Pretty much anywhere Zelda could go, ZSS is fine with, because ZSS barely has any bad stages outside of, like, FD, which you know is banned. Yeah, but AJ in this situation, Ajax be like, yeah, ZSS has, and then lists her entire kit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And then catches another stock. Look, if you want if you want to know every reason why ZSS doesn't suck, just talk to me. Now, Phantom Pressure Ajax to being a, uh, a New Englander knows knows what a terror this damn character is. Yep. But I, I think I don't ben listen knows to that propaganda well too. Look at look at how Ven is trying to play very separated from Ned. Ven knows for a fact that Ned has Zelda beat by miles in the frame data department. So instead mm -hmm. of what they were doing earlier, they're playing back. They're using the, the uh, Din's Fire alongside the Phantom Knight. So they're trying to wait for Ned to make the approach, wait for Ned to make the mistake, wait for Ned to do something that can be punished, wait for him to throw out some sort of laggy move, the very few that ZSS does have. But now trying to punish it, and it's actually working pretty well. Exactly. This is what's uh, getting that before. You just got it. You have to basically condition Ned into that one mistake jump or that one like big cut level of commitment. The problem is you got things like that Zare where you could still combo off of it. And you need to win at the ledge here. You need to. There you go. Get the down air. But unfortunately, nothing really else there to like kind of follow up on. Didn't get a big grounded hitbox. Maybe looking for that. Still 104 to 78. This is one out of shield upbeat. Oh, I thought I thought Ven was gonna look for it right there, but realized that it wasn't really in the position. Try to look for a stage okay, fight, Ven. but actually caught. I think he caught the jump there. He, he did. End he up there as well. No. <laughs> okay, Ven's gonna live through that, but for no, he's not. Okay, Ned, you're insane. For a second, I thought that Ven actually did manage to get the stock lead an opportunity for a little bit of extra credit there, but then Ned just hops right off the angel platform and goes right back to swinging. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Just, just don't waste a single second. If you're CSS, especially, you want to get right back in on Ben. I still love, like, how, how Ben just makes his character look somewhat aggressive. Where this character is basically just set up and play the game. Like, you come to me, I control the pace, I control the tempo. But look at that. Like, Ven uses... Like, Ven's basically playing a Marvel cap, uh, character the way that he plays uh, Zelda. And it's just so impressive. And that's the thing, I said it earlier that Ven was trying to go backwards, like trying to create space between the two of them to give Ned the opportunity to make a mistake, but Ned's not making these mistakes. He's not mm -hmm. giving Ven the openings that they're looking for. And, well, it's not working out too well. It's looking scary, looking like a potential 3-0 here. Goes for the Nehru's love, but the, uh, Ned just hits him with the, the fair out of shield and now flip kicks back to avoid both the Phantom and the Din's fire. Comes That's back good. in with the Nair, and this is this is looking like curtains. I don't know what Ven can do to get back in while I, Ned's well, holding stage. Ned like is this. doing this right because Ned realizes this is like one solid F, sm F smash punish near the ledge from possibly dying because Zelda does have a lot of kill power, especially those out of shield aerials. So even though you have a massive lead like this, you got to play careful. Oh, forces the high recovery. Now you're stuck at the ledge. This is exactly which you don't want against ZSS and oh does it go and cover in the high recovery from the flip kick this is still very much doable though then all oh, gets F tilted away now things are gonna get a bit rough at the ledge and you got hitbox extended from the side B and you catch it with that massive firework baby that's gonna be a point on the board for Ven I know we don't have face cams on, but I'm I'm pogging right now, Ajax, because that was cool as hell. I said it a couple of seconds ago that I wasn't seeing how Ven was going to be able to take this because Ned was holding such good control over the center stage. Like, he was just running back and forth, basically ping-ponging Ven across from one end of the stage to the other. And then, as soon as Ven got his feet on the ground, he was like, okay, my stage. You go over here. You try and get your setup, and I'm going to hitbox extend this stupid little up air, and I'm going to take a game. I'm going to get myself on the board. Yeah, that hit is already massive as is, right? And then that side V just puts, uh, puts CSS just a little bit further into range, where Ned maybe thought you might have been out of range. You know, cover it at roll. You could cover roll distance, neutral get up, all that good stuff. And then next thing you know, you're going to game number four because you made one mistake, not expecting that aggressive approach from underneath the stage. And that was good on Ven too, because Ven can use that at any given time as a counter ledge trap tool. But instead, Ven held onto it till the very end, like he likes to do, and used it for a KO option. Absolutely <laughs> insane play from Ned. Or, sorry, excuse me, it's insane play from Ven, but I don't think Ned's gonna let that go unpunished. Already going into this game, 
Swinging right out of the gate, 41% and still building. Yeah, this is CSS on Battlefield now. This is uh, this is ju this is Jungle City. You ever, you ever been to Jump Zone? You had him on a discount day. This is basically yeah. what you get to do. You don't you thought that you were done. Your hour was over, but ZSS is like, no, 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 no. We're gonna play <gasps> some more. Oh God, watch. Yeah, there you go. Forces away the recoveries and then tries to go for the down air at the ledge to maybe catch something a little bit too high. Or maybe a side B canceled, an early jump, and that was a mistake that you're gonna pay for. Undermine his battlefield. You got a little bit yeah, longer. Yeah, so I was about to say it is battlefield, so he's not quite going to die off of that, but it's still a super dangerous position to be put in because yet again, Ned has stage control. And Ned loves stage control, Ajax. He's gonna do everything that he damn near wants to. <laughs> oh my god. Almost hits oh. And he's gonna How did he hit that? I don't even know if that was on purpose or if he was just trying to recover back to the ledge. Either yeah, way, gosh, though. Oh, that was so close. If that back throw got thrown into the sword of the Phantom, that would have been a stock that you got to watch out. Oh, actually, good job on Ned not budging because a lot of times people will stare at that. like, oh, wait, it's coming towards me. But you knew it was a little bit too far. There was nothing to be scared of. Oh, watch your recovery, though. Ned's at the ledge. Side beast. Oh, good job just buffering it immediately to avoid the side beat. I... I said it during the last game, but this entire set, both of these dudes have just been swinging from Angel Platform to Blast Zone. There's no pause in the action. And with that up B out of shield, or sorry, not the out of shield, just the run up up B rather, that, uh, that afterburner kick is going to end the stock there. But Fen is close to taking this one here. He's got him on the ledge. He's setting up the Phantom and he comes, but he avoids the F smash. So now Ned's back on the stage and he has some time to play. He has some time to get a little bit of extra credit now. Yeah, and a good thing that Ned constantly does too is never leaves us back too far against the corner because you can get back thrown as well. That is a KO option. So he always realizes that anytime Vent's staring it down, like, let me go to center stage. If I'm taking a punish, I'm taking it there. Back throw, DI out, DI out. Thank you very much. A lot of <laughs> That is the age old trick. Yeah. And that definitely looked like it was a little bit close for comfort. And that should definitely do it. You got hit once and you got hit twice. The magician coming through, putting in her work. You and I both were just going please Ben, please di out please di out and he he did he came through he came through for both of us ajax but it was looking scary and now it's still not looking all the best i think what i've realized that ven really needs to do is keep ned in the air because while zss has really good air game the ground game is better in this matchup so needs to keep zss airborne needs to keep them trying to fight in the air where they can get their setups because as long as ned's on the ground and holding control of the stage that's when ven is really really struggling and right now only four percent on ned's second stock meanwhile ven is only inches away from losing this one true enough i love how chat is reacting the way i did that look chat i'm i'm looking out for your safety okay i'm concerned for you if i see things like people running at grounded steve up b i'm gonna yell at you i want you to think about it later also jab directly in front of that a little bit punishable when you try to commit and good job from ned pretty much realizing like hmm, i'm 19 percent if i whiff this i'm only gonna take maybe like 40 if i get hit by up tilt the back here and just covers that for the ko yeah this isn't looking pretty. Ned still holding on to the advantage state. Now has entirely lapped Ven in terms of percent. Tries to go. I think that was supposed to be a, a, a short hop Nair to cover jump get up. But Ven does have the presence of mind to be able to Nair in his own way. Stop that. So still at least holding their own. But well, it's not looking pretty. Especially with that, that good old frame one jab, Ajax. Now gets the F tilt. Dashes in. He's looking for the down smash. Ned's trying to end this set. He doesn't want to play anymore. Yep, 22 get off me options, but this character sucks. And here we go. Uh, Forwarder just barely missing. You actually tried to condition that shield to get a little bit lower, hopefully finding that shield poke. Now 93, you're off stage. You better watch out for that get up. Ned is going to cover you again. Even after that Eptil can still go for the up air. Now you're at out of shield windows. You have to be careful if you're betting here. Pretty much everything needs to be a successful trap, and you cannot drop your punishes, because if you do, you're done. For the up smash does not catch Ven rolling, but... Well, that was a dangerous situation. Nonetheless, Ned, that was that was uh, completely unnecessary, but it was sick. You know, I've actually, never seen. It's been a while. Since I've seen, it's been a while since I've seen ZSS go around the world. 
exactly. I don't even know if that was the most unnecessary thing. That's the craziest part because Ven had ledge trap, right? I don't want to be staring down Zelda at the ledge outside of maybe Elite Smash Zeldas. Look, all Elite Smash Zeldas. Watch Ven and be like Ven. Like Get that. Better, Ven, got, Ven found a KO outside of a forward smash running away for the 37th time. Please be like Ven. All right, so here we go. Uh, hey, 125. Said, I'm, tired of, uh, I'm tired of camping your mashy asses. Please get better. I don't want to have to jump at you, wait for the neutral B, and then hit you every single time. Please do something different. All right. Oh, whiffed. Okay, You're hold up. Smashed. Hold up. I, I smell danger afoot. When I smell danger afoot, that's when people are getting scared. I'm 39. Oh, that's a... All right. Watch out. Watch out. <laughs> that was almost it right there. Ven had it covered and up smash is going to end the game. But Ven almost had the trap necessary. The phantom forces the jump. And then the down air almost will... It will catch you, force you right into the phantom. And you would have been dead. Just barely by the sake of top tier privilege. Flip kick got Ned through that trap. And that's going to be the game.